Hi, this is Chris from dashcamcentral.com.au and today we're going to have a very quick look at the Viofo A119. So this is a relatively new camera for 2016, proving to be very, very popular. Uh, it has some very good reviews right across the internet, so you can go and have a look at those and get some independent views on it. I'm just going to show you uh, what it is and uh, what you get in the box. So, as you can see there, that's the, the box and the presentation. Just have a look over there, so you can see it's just highlighting. It's got a 160 degree wide angle lens, good night and day vision. Runs a super capacitor. And I'll have a look at the bottom. Go over the back here, turn it around, we'll just have a look. Right there, so you can see it's uh, running 2K, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Also goes up to 1440p. This camera runs on supercapacitor, as we said, an Overtech sensor, Omnivision lens, wide angle lens, 2 inch screen. GPS is optional but standard on all our cameras. Uh, a circular CPL filter uh, is optional as well, not available yet, but will be very, very shortly. Uh, and it's just highlighting that it's got G-sensor and motion detection and a quick release mount, which basically means you can take the camera out of the car quite easily without having to pull the power out. So let's just open the box, have a look. So let's just get that out of there. So we'll get the camera out so we can have a quick look at the camera. So you can see there's the front of the camera. So you've got a couple of buttons there, power on and off. Of course it will power on automatically with your ignition. Menu functions, microphone on and off. You've got uh, your lockdown file, so if you see something you just hit that has a button in the middle, it records a locked file for you, and you can start stop your recording at any stage. So you see it's a nice compact web shape. Over on the side you've got some air venting, of course you've got your slot for your micro SD card. And we'll just go over to the other side, have a look at that, and of course you've got your AV out, and you've got your micro USB for A, powering the camera, if you're not powering it off the mount, and B, transferring files, you know, if you don't want to take the micro SD out and stick it into your computer. So just going on, this is actually the back or the front, so your mount goes on there, sticks to your windscreen, and you see you've got your lens there, so... You've got some nice adjustment on the lens, so depending on the rake of your windscreen, the lens will go up and down and will go left or right, so you can make some adjustment there and just get the setting nice and in the right direction. So we'll just pop that there for now. And then we'll see what else we've got in the box. I'll just get that out of the way. You do get a very basic uh, manual with this, so it steps you through the setup and all of your basic menu functions there as well. Pop this out. So, you see, it comes with a sticky pad and a little bit of string if you need to get that off because it can be difficult to get off. So that's just for mounting your camera. Do you get a USB type power supply. So that one has a USB plug-in with a spare port so you can still charge your phone. Uh, or other accessory while powering your camera off your, your cigarette lighter. There is of course an optional hardwire kit you can get for this if you don't want to take up space on your on your cigarette lighter or using that for, for other items. You do get your USB to mini USB, so that is for transferring files to your computer. That is your GPS mount, so basically your camera slides into that. That sits on your windscreen. You can, of course, power it straight off the GPS. So if you're one that likes to take your camera in and out all the time, you don't have to unplug your power supply. It just slides in and out, and away you go. Take your camera with you. And you do get some mounting clips as well. So that's just to help you tuck away the cables and give you uh, a nice, neat uh, installation. And this is your spare mount. This is, of course, a non-GPS mount. So uh, if you don't want to use GPS or you have a second vehicle that you, uh, you want to pop your camera in nice and easily, you can always got that. All right, so that's it. That is a very quick look at uh, the VFO A119. This is Chris from dashcamscentral.com.au.